Hello and welcome to this short video for the Aqualum i450T dive computer and also the transmitter. The reason about this video is to show you the functionality of this dive computer and which possibles you have in the clock modus or in the dive modus. There are three different color models. You have the choice between a white or a black and blue model or a complete black model. On the right side you see the transmitter for the wireless connection between the oxygen bottle and the dive computer. At the end of the video I will show you the for the transmission to the computer between the computer and the Dive computer, a software they call Diver Lock. So if you do not like reading long guides, you are right here. Have fun with this video about the Aqualum i 450T. <laughs> If you buy this dive computer, the computer comes with uh, the dive computer itself, a USB cable for the connection between the computer and the dive computer, a display protector, a bracelet extension if you need this, a warranty and also a CD user manual. Here can you see the clock from all sides from the back and on the side and on the front with the date and what time. Now I lay the watch on the side. The next one I will show you the cable for the, for the computer connection. On the left is the end, the USB end for the computer and on the right side is the end for the connection to the watch. To connect the cable you must lightly press the connector and rotate to the right and now it is finished. To remove again turn to the left and pull the connector out. So and that's it. Next step is uh, transmitter. You can screw the transmitter on your breathing regulator. Here you see how it looks like. If you change your um, battery on the transmitter, you can do that on the top of the transmitter here. You see that you can take a coin and rotate to the left uh, to open and rotate to the right to close. Here you see the bracelet extension. You can take this if you have a thicker suit and here now the watch. And after that I will show you the battery. If you change your battery, you see on the left side the correct battery for the transmitter and here on the right side you see the correct battery for the dive computer. These are the correct batteries for your equipment. Before we will start with the settings on the watch, I will show you the buttons if you can change the settings. So we have uh, four buttons on the dive computer. On the left on the top is here the mode button. On the left on the Bottom is the advanced button and on the right side we have a select button and the light button. Now we can start here and with the light button you can push this and the light goes on for 5 seconds. And if you push the select button a little bit longer you change to the compass mode again. You push the button for a little bit longer time, you change to the clock model. If you push the mode button, you come to the menu and you can go to the button if you 
push the advance button, you go a point upper, you can push the mold button. Here you see that with a point on the left side. And if you uh, push the mold button a little bit longer, you come back to the clock. With the advanced button, you can change the view. You have three views here, uh, the clock models, the alternative clock, and the temperature. Now we start with the setting possibilities in the watch models. So if you put the mode button a little bit longer, you come to the dive models, and if you put the mode button again, you come to the clock models. Now we go to the menu and start with its CDT setup, with the countdown setup. With the advanced button, we go up to the set, and now you can set the, the time for the countdown. And uh, click once more again the select button, you come to the minutes and the hours. And with the on off, you can start the, the countdown timer, and with off, you can end the timer. Now we set the timer to five hours. <clears throat> that works now. So I'll set this and we take it on. Now we go back to the clock modus and we go up. To, and here you see the countdown five hours. The next one in the menu is uh, watch. In the watch mode is the chrono, is a stop watch here, and you can start this one uh, with a select button. You see here the, the left one. You uh, put the select button again, you come to the left two, and, and that's it. The next point on the menu is here the daily alarm. So here you can select this and here you can um, set, yes, a daily alarm, if you like that. For example, I will set the alarm to 6.30 a.m. and activate. So I go to the clock modus and on the left, top on the left is here a, a symbol that says you here is a daily alarm activated and so if we go to off the symbol on the clock is not here so that is the uh, daily alarm is off the next point on the menu is a time menu here and here you can change the date format month and days or days and months in or you can change uh, the hours uh, 12 or 24 hours am pm and here you can change the time that is important for the first using of this uh, dive computer and Yes, and we have here the settings for the date. And if it's correct, we go out. And so we have also a functionality, the alternative time. You can see the alternative on the second clock view. On the menu default time, you can change on the first view in the clock modus if you like the away time or the home time, the show dual setting, you can view on the main display the away time and the normal time together. Um, I can show this for the example if I activate this manual settings so we go back to the time menu and 
up to the menu setting uh, here is it um, dual show dual and yes and go back to the to the main display and you see the first time here and uh, before here was a date here is a second um, time and if we yeah deactivate it uh, show dual so we have on the screen the actual date and not anymore the away time. That was the clock modus and now we go to the dive modus. The dive modus activated autom automatically if you go underwater but you have also the chance to activate the dive modus if you push the button mode a little bit longer and then you come to the dive modus. Here are many ads to see and we will take a closer look at what the ads exactly means. The, the blinking says you the dive computer is searching for the transmitter. Now let's take a closer look at the ads on this computer. On the top on the left of the screen is a wireless symbol and that says you the connection with the transmitter is connected. If the symbol is blinking, the connection is searching. The next uh, ad is for the actual deep. Here for example 28 meters. The next ad is for the decompression. The first four segments says you it is no decompression necessary. ASC is the ascent speed uh, that shows you if you uh, go up too fast. GTR is the residual air time here 37 minutes. The no deco ad shows you the, the maximum time you can swim on the actual deep before compression. Here on the screen 25 minutes. Bar shows you the actual oxygen in your bottle here 140 bars. Dive time is the current dive time and here 36 minutes. The bottle with the one says you you have the display from the first bottle. You can uh, connect three bottles if you dive with one, two or more or three bottles. And the last one is uh, lamp for alarms signal. Now we come to the menu for the watch in dive modus. Uh, that is the same navigation as the navigation in the clock modus. The first uh, point on the menu in the dive modus is uh, Fly and deceleration time. Um, the fly mode will say you when you can fly again, and the desaturation is a time when you are complete desaturation. The plan settings um, this mode calculates the diving deep and the time limits. Now we go back to the um, home screen and again back in the menu to the lock uh, settings and so here you can see your your um, dives in the in the past and with the select button you can uh, look your dives here and for example a 21 meter long dive Surf time 23 meters, your bottle on the beginning and on the end, and so on. All what is important for 
the dive. The next point in the menu is here the gas settings. Here you can set your gas bottle. You have you can uh, setting three gas bottles, and if you uh, put on the gas bottle, you can change the the oxygen here for 21 uh, or 23 for nitrox. Normally we have. 31 on oxygen here with the advance button you can change the the mix and so we go back to 21 21 is for normal normal oxygen so back and that's it the next point is the I would say the alarm, I think. Yes, here is a set alarms. You have, you can set many alarms, the audio alarm. Here you can set off or on, if you like audio alarm or not. So I like off and the deep, the deep alarm, uh, alarm by 40 meters here and the here the elapsed dive time alarm. Next the uh, nitrogen alarm. You can set it. The next one is here the DTR alarm, the that calls the rest of the air time alarm. Then we have the turn alarm, the turn back alarm by 100 bar. Then the pressure alarm here, here in 40 bars is here the setting and that's it. So we have all alarms here and we go back to the home screen. The next point is a set util option. Here you have a few setting options. The first one is here the H2O type. You can change between fresh and salt water. Next point is the H2O active. That means if you have contact with water, the dive modus um, activates automatically. And the next one is the units. You can change between imperial or metric units. In Germany, we have uh, metric units. And so I set this one. And the next is a deep stop. Uh, you can activate or deactivate the deep stop. I activate this. The safe stop. You can here activate the safe stop and and set the deep here five meters and the time. Here you can set the conservative factor. And the next point is a light duration. Here you can set the time here in 5 seconds normally, but you can set to 30 seconds or 3 seconds or you can deactivate this. Sampling is a sample rate for the PC. The next one is a TMT menu. Here you can uh, set the ID for the transmitter on and uh, yeah, deactivate. You have uh, the choice between three transmitters. So we go back to the menu and now we have all set util settings finished what you can change in this menu point. The next point is I'm not sure what the next point is. Uh, here the OP mode. You have three different dive modes that are dive, gorge and free dive modes. And you can select the modes if you like. Normally is set the free dive modes. The next point is here the history. Here you can see all dives with the Aqualung I450T and the maximum meters and other things I would say. 
ID as n is the ID serial number of the dive computer. You can see this here. And the next point is the battery and TMT transmitter. In that menu point you have the possibility to check your battery status uh, from the i450T and the transmitter. Here you must waiting a little bit. The menu jumps automatic, automatically to the three transmitter and the battery status. The next point here, so we have no uh, next point, that was the settings and the menu for the Aqualung i450T. Now we come to the next point, the diver lock software and uh, this is available for Windows and Mac. You can download this software on the Aqualung internet homepage if you like and here is also the driver for the dive computer and yes and that is a short view of the software. That was it. Thank you for your watching this video and have fun with your next dives and I hope I have I can help you to set your dive computer E450T.